help. Got a call today on a freezer at a Marathon gas station. And uh, winds are going to be pretty strong today. There was actually a a wind advisory called it was uh, a small child wind advisory today that was the first time I heard that small child wind advisory I've got to work on a freezer in here it's a small glass door freezer and I just got the uh, things just running warm Suction 238 okay. and the fans aren't running up there. My full load amps, let's check that. Okay, the refrigerant is 404. And the full load amps is, where are we? Okay, 12.3. The compressor would be the lion's share, so we only have seven amps on the compressor, so it's kind of low. My guess is it's just that low on gas. Now we have a suction pressure and regulating valve back here that sometimes they need to be adjusted. And you can see I already leaned against the condenser. That needs to be cleaned off. And maybe why the, it's low on gas. See, it's hitting zero now, the suction. It's just low on gas, the system. I checked it for leaks already. I didn't find anything. I see the head pressure drop now. CO2 tank on it. Try to use low pressure so it doesn't make too large of a. You see the head pressure dropping.
usually makes a mess in the store. Quite a bit of dust in there. Blew away all the evidence. It's a little cloudy in here. All right, I gotta hit, have to get some gas. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna put some gas in the system now. We only have six amps, seven amps. Suction pressure is zero, 202. We want something like around 250, 240. 270 in that range. Okay. Let's do close. Open this up. And we'll slowly let it in. some suction pressure, I mean discharge pressure. All right, let's see how that does. Now what we need to do is the fans aren't on. And the fans aren't going to come on until the sensor gets cold enough. And when the sensor gets cold enough, the fans will kick in. So we just got to wait a couple minutes. Might need to put a little bit more gas in my suction. Now, there's a crankcase pressure regulating valve down here in the back. And they sometimes get closed off a little bit too much. They need to be adjusted open. The evaporator is pretty low. Hopefully, that click sounds good. It'll kick in. Sometimes it takes time for it to kick in. And my pressure dropped again. in slow. If you can see that. I've always charged with my amp probe. You don't want to exceed the, uh, the compressor run load amps. Okay, the unit's um, yeah, running now. I was having trouble with the Suction pressure is low, head pressure is good. Frosting up to here. My fans aren't coming on. Oh, there they are. They just came on. Now they're cycling on and off. And what I found was this door switch is acting up. It's not cutting in. This is the door switch. When you open up the door, the fans shut off, so it'll blow the cold out. But if I press it in, the fans run. The 
ago. And what I just noticed was, I'm in here. What I just noticed was, look at the difference in the door here. And this door is down too far. So what I have to do is raise this up by. adjusting this hinge I have to loosen these two bolts up loosen these two bolts up and move the hinge over and that'll raise the door up so let's give that a try I brought the door up enough for that to make contact. And my fans are running. It's still not good. This one's making good contact. But uh, that's a slop sloppy piece of equipment. Let's see if I can. Can't adjust this over any, but I guess that's it. Hopefully that's enough. Could shim up the little plastic thing up there. Okay, now my now I have suction pressure and I have too much head pressure now. That's all because. the refrigerant the evaporated coils absorbing a lot of heat and bringing it down here this is 404 it's kind of a high for a 404 to hit for sure let's see what our amperage draw is That's not bad. I looked at the uh, run load amps on the rating on the compressor, and there wasn't the rating there. So I had to go by the amperage on the label up there. This label is 12 amps for everything. Run for a while, 
see if it gets how cold it gets. I have it, the top numbers. My inlet is the, it's the temperature difference between the delta T between the front and the back. this one over. Okay. okay, I just moved this hinge over and it, I've got some space here where it won't hit. It's still uneven quite a bit. I've got them adjusted fully. But that's true for you. in the box is 22 degrees and my uh, air coming out the back is minus three so I've got a pretty good delta T between the two of them I'll just watch it I want to watch it come down I want to see that 21 that's the uh, air going in I want to see 21 to go down So head pressure is still way too high, but I'm going to let it let it ride for a while. My liquid line isn't too hot. My liquid line is lukewarm. The suction line isn't frosting back, so I'm going to see what we get here. The head pressure, once the temperature comes down in there, it'll be less heat in the system. The suction pressure will drop and then the head pressure will drop too. So I'll just wait a while. Okay, my temperature in the kit box right now is down to 9 degrees. And the air coming out is minus 14. So that's going in the right direction. My head pressure is 310, suction is 13, and my amps is 8.23. That's doing good. Now, what I found was is there was a Freon leak on this valve stem, the high side discharge valve stem. You can see the oil. And this, these units come through with these crappy plastic. Uh, No matter how tight you get it, you're not going to stop a little leak. So what I have to do is I have to salvage these off other units that are shut down or whatever. The old ones, these are metal. And they're nice. They're uh, solid. They have a copper in there for seating. And I'll put that on there when I'm done. And I'll put Teflon tape on this, on the threads there. And I'll sock it down good and tight. And that'll uh, stop the leak. But you can see the oil. Uh, where the oil was dripping on that thing. That's where the leak was. It's doing good. Down to 7.8 degrees. It's dropping. And I'll just watch it and set it. I'm done. This uh, Okay, I'm just below zero. Gives me a twenty degree TV. As temperatures dropping, it'll be down 
pretty cold later on. And I only have eight amps. That's easy. Head pressure is good now. It's 275. Suction's 10. Evaporator's minus 28. It's it's doing good. Okay, folks. Okay, folks. Later.